hey guys welcome back to my channel this is Anastasia welcome everybody today I am sharing with you a part two of this beautiful backdrop that I made last time if you missed that video I will leave a link for previous video in the description under this video so today I am grabbing a whole bunch of balloons from Ellie's and I am combining this with that without any further ado let's go first things first let's dive into this box and see which colors i picked so again the brand is ellie's brand of balloons and i have two colors this one is sage and this one is kiwi i have different sizes here 5 11 and 14 i believe that's the only sizes that i will be working with today if i'll find uh, any other sizes in here i will let you know first color i am inflating is kiwi look how pretty these colors these shades are so pretty and so incredible especially together i pre-inflated all of my balloons as you can see so here's what i did i took same size balloons i inflated them into the same size and tie them into pairs like these. Then I am taking my pairs and combining them together, intertwining them together into a quad. I took another quad like this and tied everything by the necks from balloons. I created mini balloon garlands like these. This is a mini balloon garland out of 14 inch balloons. I have five, I believe five quads tied together into this mini balloon garland. Then I have 11 inch of mini balloon garlands right here. I have five inch mini balloon garlands. I wasn't going with the pattern of how many quads I need to tie in to create mini balloon garlands. I was just tying them uh, in different varieties and lengths of mini balloon garlands. One mini balloon garland will have five quads tied together, another will have six, another will have three, four, five, I'm in variety of mini balloon garlands. So for the design, here's what I'm planning to do. Since I am having limited amount of this color, I want to focus the sage color into one spot, probably like over here somewhere, and then explode with kiwi color. Uh, we'll see. Here is a quick look of how I attached this mini balloon garland to my frame. So I simply pushed my balloons on my frame. So my frame sits right between the balloons and then i took this clip and i literally clipped this tied neck that holding balloons together to my frame with the clip and it holds very well i have three clips one two and uh, third one somewhere over there three clips holding this balloon garland this piece is on and it's going to be the guide of me to know where I want to place this color. So grabbing extra mini balloon garlands and starting to construct something in this area of my uh, future setup. I will be connecting everything by the necks of balloons. To secure this section to the ceiling, I am using the command hook and fishing line. with my darker green balloon color these are all the balloons that I had in this color I didn't have a lot from this color but I really like what I've made out of these balloons I really wanted it to make a really nice and pretty base out of these because 
I wanted the darker green to be kind of like a catchy focal point in this setup, not counting what's behind me, this frame. It's gonna be another focal point. <laughs> but now, here's what I wanna do. I wanna grab my lighter green balloon color and really highlight this darker green color. So instead of hiding my darker green, like this, for example, I really wanna take this lighter green underneath the darker green and kind of weave it through and extend the darker green and elongate the darker green with lighter green. I hope it will make sense after I'll finish with this setup, but this is how I am processing this right now. So I didn't like this section of this darker green over here. It was looking way too straight and way too overfilled, overstuffed felt like. So I removed this top from a command hook, moved it to the side, added the lighter green to kind of break this darker green and move it away from my arch. You guys, feels like this section of my install, this side, is giving me such a hard time. Feels like whatever I place on this side makes this side overstuffed. I don't know what it is. I can't figure this out. It's okay to have mistakes. It's okay to be stuck. It's okay to go back and fix it. This is the process of organic balloon garlands. This is a game of seeing where balloons will look the best. So right now, from here, I moved my balloons to the side. There was a chunk of balloons right here, so I undone this chunk and put it on the side, just like this. Now, this section is giving me overstuffed too much overdone so i'm going there i'm gonna cut this and uh, think of something else i don't know <laughs> this is giving me flat so i want to grab smaller size balloon mini balloon garland and kind of maybe elongate a little bit over here give it like an angle I feel like it might be it. Let me step back. Always, after every placement of a cluster, of mini balloon garland, of anything, of flowers, I always step back and see what is going on, how it looks, because I'd rather step back multiple times than finish everything up close, go further away to look at my finished product and disliking it completely. So it's better to work in little sections and then you can come back and fix it rather than completing everything and being stuck with it. Yes, it's looking much, much better. It's looking exactly what I was envisioning. I really didn't want to go in front of my frame, but this was the solution for this. So now let's figure out this side. inch balloons using rubber bands to attach these. Uh, let's go! Quickly 
wanted to point out about these mini balloon garlands. So when I am working with mini five inch balloon garlands, I am trying not to place this structural mini balloon garland just like this and have it there. I'm always trying to break that five inch mini balloon garland into something organic and flowy instead of one straight thing of balloons. So I am breaking this mini balloon garland and just trying to see the most beautiful and organic shape for my five inch balloons and just place it where I think they will look the best. for some flowers and I've decided to focus my yellow flowers in section right here darker green right there I already finished this side and I'm obsessed love what I see so let's repeat the same so what I'm doing here is I am starting with bunches of flowers like these these are fillers this will give me a lot more volume in my flowers then i am adding a little more fillers a little more volume to my flowers with hydrangeas and then to give my flowers a little more spread and volume again i am adding something like this something that again can bend into sides and give my flowers more wideness. Also, I will be adding these guys over here. These are my new love. This is my newest um, item in my flower collection. They are very good quality. They do look beautiful and I'm obsessed with them. So let's start. flowers are in now let's put in final touches into my install so I am using my foam butterfly that I've made out of foam I used Home Depot's uh, foam boards and I just cut out a butterfly out of it with a foam cutter if you guys are interested I uh, think I have a video on it I will link a video on this DIY in the description under this video and i will leave all the tools that i used when i was making this butterfly in the description under this video as well i want to place this butterfly right over here but i need a back support so i'm using this quad putting this quad in and butterfly right in here as well people often ask me how do i put something like this in balloon garlands this is basically how i will put them in my garlands into the balloons and i would also tie or glue my foam pieces to balloons with glue dashes with tape with 260s with fishing line with anything so that this will stand nice and firm in my install this works great it looks wonderful and my butterfly is sturdy so it's gonna be just like that let's add my cardboard accordion pedestals i am loving what i see here but i feel like this side of my arch is missing something so since we are nearing mother's day i decided to add these marquee letters mom and glue them with duct tape these marquee letters i got them on amazon they are battery operated you just flip a switch behind and this is how they will glow i really like how they glow very subtle nothing 
into your face, uh, very bright that you can't really take pictures or look at them. Very cute, very lightweight. This is why I will be using duct tape. I will be using a lot of duct tape uh, donuts all over my letter. And when you're using tape anywhere on anything, you have to commit to it. Once you glue with tape, it's going to be extremely hard to take them off to relocate them. So really decide if you really want to do this. Another thing is that you could have probably put letters on top of these pedestals and add another pedestal and just have kind of like a mom moment. So the taller pedestal, lower and lower. You could do that if you don't want to use tape on your wallpaper. Uh, just commit to it, you know? So let's roll some donuts. Let's glue these letters. <laughs> I am done filming this setup, so now I need to turn these off. So let's try to peel them off very carefully. Not bad at all. It didn't damage my wallpaper. Just peel them off patiently and you won't damage your wallpaper. you guys I removed the mom letters but this is what I have for you today I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed this process I hope you enjoyed the colors from Ellie's brand of balloons again thank you so much for sending me these gorgeous gorgeous balloons I will link their website in the description under the video all right you guys I hope all of you will have a wonderful day if you have any extra questions leave them in the comment section below subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you back very soon bye